So year two, we've been looking at making equal groups by sharing. But today we're going to look at how we make equal groups by grouping. Okay, we're gonna to start today with some speckled frogs. We're going to put these frogs into groups. How many frogs have we got here? Let's see. Hmm. I can count 12 frogs. We're going to put the frogs into groups of four. We'll get them sitting in groups on their speckled logs. Do you remember that? Speckled frogs on speckled logs. Okay, four frogs onto the first log, please. One, two, three, four. Great, we need another log, please. Great, off you guys, off the next lot of four, off you go. One, two, three, four. And finally, the last group of four onto your log. Brilliant. So we have three groups of frogs with four frogs in each group. Can you see my three groups and four frogs in each group? Putting frogs on logs is fun, but grouping is easier if we can make rows and columns. Off you go, frogs, get into your rows and columns. I think they're ignoring me. Frogs, can you get into rows and columns, please? Oh, lovely. <clears throat> yes, well done. And perfect, rows and columns. Okay, this time we're going to make groups of three. Hmm. How many groups of three can you see? Have a look. Can you see it easily that we can group these in three? Here's the first group of three, second group of three, a third group of three, and four groups of three. There are four groups of three all together. Well done. What if we were to make groups of six? How many groups of six are there? Well, you know that three plus three is equal to six. So you can see <clears throat> there is one group of six on the left and a second group of six on the right. How many groups of six do we have? That's right, two groups of six. Brilliant. Well, sometimes we won't make rows and columns, like these bean bags. 15 bean bags all together and I'm going to group them in threes just by sliding them along. All right. Here goes my first group of three, another group of three, and another, and another, and I'm left with a final group of three in the middle. I have five equal groups of three bean bags. Here are some pairs that have been grouped. They've been grouped into fives. There were 15 pairs all together and they've been divided into groups of five. Three groups of five. The three numbers here are 15, five and three. 15 tells us how many there are all together. Five tells us how many are in each group and three tells us how many groups there are. So when we write this in a number sentence, it looks like this. 15 pairs in total divided by five or into groups of five is equal to three groups. 15 divided by five is equal to three. Now here's another number sentence. 10 divided by five is equal to two. Can you remember what the 10 tells us, what the five tells us, and what the two tells us? Well, the 10 tells us how many there are all together. The five tells us how many is in each group. And the two tells us how many groups there are. So let's think about this in a real life context. We've got 10 somethings and they're divided into groups of five. In the end, there will be two groups. What could we use as our somethings? Hmm. Let's use children. Aha, here are our 10 children. 
So we've got 10 children and we're dividing into groups of five. Can five of you stand over to the left, please? Thank you. And the other group of five over to the right? Brilliant. Ah, yes, we've got 10 children. They've been divided into groups of five and there are two groups. Okay, here's Whitney and she's got 12 oranges. She wants to put two oranges in each basket. I don't think she's got enough baskets, do you? How many baskets was she going to need? Hmm. Pause the video and have a think. Let's see, shall we? She selects her first two oranges and puts them in the basket. And another two. And another two. Ah, she does need more baskets. Another basket. And another basket. And a final basket. She's grouped her oranges into twos, hasn't she? She had 12 oranges and she put two in each basket. She's used six baskets. So 12 divided into groups of two. And our written calculation for that would be 12 divided by two equals six. 12 divided into groups of two gives us six groups.